Hello and welcome back to Moonring. Um, didn't really find anything too helpful. There's a couple books I didn't read here, which was nice. Um, I am going to be, let's see here. We're going to be exploring the southwest of this zone over here. Um, mostly because I hear there's a bandit den there, which may or may not uh, help us advance. And uh, yeah, I had to, I had to look that up a little bit. But, um, you know, I haven't done a lot of exploring here. I did some. Um, I am also collecting as much kindling as I can. Man, it sucks when everything can, like, dodge your attacks. I am sure... Wow, I'm, like, dead. I am dead. Good God. Killed by bugs. Um, I, I'm pr I probably need a better weapon. Um... And I need to really stop going for kindling. Honestly, it's like getting to the point where like it's not worth it anymore. Every time I go for it, I regret it, basically. You know, convenient for me to say basically, because then I get to so doubt, you know? Um, I know there's there's reasons to collect kindling, but it's it's really kind of becoming a problem when like I can die to bugs. Everything dodges my attacks right now. All right. Aha! 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 There it is. So I haven't been here. Oh, we've got bandits I have to kill. Ow. Um, let's go ahead and throw a bloodstone down there. These guys are hurting me. I'm going to hurt them back and also get some blood in the meantime. All right, we're going to have to go through here methodically. I don't think I can... Um... Man, that's a troublesome ability. I don't think I can sneak through here. Oof. Ow. Stop it. Okay, that's locked. Why does that door keep closing? All right, we're you know how we deal with you. We throw down a bloodstone. That's how. Is he resistant to bleeding? Area clear. Victory! You defeated Grand Assassin. Is uh is that what I meant to do? Aha, you found a ship title. To board your new vessel, go to Moon Upon Thos on the overall. So I'm not sure how I was supposed to know to do that. It might have been that there was uh, clues hidden around the map. Um, and I suppose if I had like done enough like searching around and, and uh, researching and reading everything, I would have found that out. And you know, that's probably in the spirit of the game. Um, you'll have to forgive me for not following uh that proper course but anyway we have our ship and we can progress you know the normal way for now uh let's go to issachar and uh, we'll travel to moon upon thos excited i you know one thing i am very grateful for is that there was a way of getting a um a ship without having to pay for it. I saw a few comments of a few community um, kind of like forum posts by people saying like, hey, uh, how do I earn the money? And other people saying, well, you got to like, you know, r rob uh, caravans and, and traders and, you know, just like wait for them to die and, and all of this like mental gymnastics. And it's like, oh my goodness, um, isn't it nice that you don't actually have to do all of that? Because that that is just a nightmare. So, um, we gotta go to Red Grove. Uh, let's read these real quick. Web of dense forest wood smoke hanging in the air and silent rush of wolves. That's, uh, Winter Shoal. Rag ragged hills overlooking the sea and a pair of tall- Okay, so that's, that's the one we want. And then here we go to Barrow Lynn. I guess there's only one we can go to. Burning rock in the distance and a town glowing. Yeah, okay, so we go to Berlin. 
And then here we should be able to get to Moon Upon Thos. Is it this one? See nothing but pale yellow mist. I don't know if I've been to that one. I, don't, I haven't been to that one yet. So this is Moon Upon Thos. Um, oh, the amber is going to be a problem. I swear to God. Am I going the wrong way? I am going the wrong way. I don't really want to have to fight anything right now. Lick the badger. All right. So now we, you surrender your forge ship title and board your vessel. Ship movement is different to normal movement. Your ship can only rotate 90 degrees at a time. Ships only also move fastest when wind hits sails from the side and not the front or back. While sailing, your ranged ability will also be replaced with a cannon, which can only fire north, south, east, or west. Note that your ship has zero poise, so every hit hurts. Okay, all of that is good to know. I suppose the first thing we could do is go check out the sea cave. We're still maddened. John maddened. Is this uh, the sea cave? Right, we can't do like a 90 degree turn. Land too high to disembark. We have to come out here, okay. And then we can uh, check out the sea cave. Um, sure, we'll fill our empty bottle with oil. Also, I should eat some food. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna eat some. It really, it, what's weird to me is that, um, eating rotten food actually seems to feel, fill up your hunger better than normal food. Maybe that's my perception. Okay, so we've got some undead lads. Did I actually take some damage from that guy? All right, so, you know, we're, 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 we're doing this by the book. Um, this guy is cutting through our poise, but that's fine. We'll recover. Hopefully this guy doesn't know we're here yet. Undead suck. They actually hurt quite a bit, but they're, um, they're okay so long as you're not being, you're not surrounded by them. When you're surrounded by them, that's, that's when you gotta be worried. I like the music right now. This is a, I don't recognize this track. Doing well so far not to take too much damage. Friendly fire is on. I want to hit that guy. Do a couple shots where, you know, where we can. We've got tons of arrows. I should really be doing more range combat where I can. Enraged. Just gonna, just gonna shoot these uh, lads over here. Especially the, uh, the mages. Oh god, he healed. And he healed again. Stop healing. This guy keeps, like, very nimbly avoiding my arrows. Look at all my arrows over there. I sure hope they don't get destroyed. Uh, I can't get over there yet. Uh, I do want to collect money if I can. I'm always in need uh, need of some money. Uh, I guess I should have stepped on that pressure plate. Yeah. Uh, I guess there's not really much reason to go back over there. Scrap of ancient metal. I can always use more of that. I guess I didn't... Uh, we didn't lose all my robot friends because that 
I, I, I lost, I died, and so I got to retrieve all my stuff. I really wish it wouldn't take, like, forever for fire to disappear. Like, it's actually quicker for me to, like, walk all the way around. It takes just, just an obscene amount of time for fire to disappear. This guy set himself on fire, silly goose. Trap spotted. Um, we should have amber oil. I guess we don't, but that's okay because we have some amber oil here. Oh God. Well, we have a um, unidentified artifact, which is kind of nice. I haven't gotten one of those in ages. Honestly, just gonna. Tr it, it seems like the fire disappears quicker when I walk away from it. I know that's not the case. I know that's mechanically not how it works, but still, it feels that way sometimes. All right, I get to retrieve all my arrows over here. Got a lot of arrows, which is good. You know, I should be doing more range combat where I can. Large potion of healing. I could use a heal. Um, quest potion. Is there, there's, there should be a potion category. Uh, I guess there is alchemy. Potion of healing. Drink that. We're good. Stay nice and healthy by drinking your potions. Really should be doing some stealth. If only because it means I don't have to fight everything at once. Oh god, these guys are a real problem right now. Okay, uh, I'm gonna throw a bloodstone down. Might might be ill-advised, but I think it worked out. Oh, a haven stone. Oh, that's gonna come in handy later. I'm not gonna use it here, but uh, we know we need it for the jester, the jest uh, dungeon. That that was like for real a nightmare. This is good. This is very good. Yo, please do not heal in my presence. Oh God, oh, I hate, I hate that. What do we got here? I'm gonna use another potion of healing. We've got, we've got them to burn a little bit right now and, and why take chances when we don't have to? Okay, we're making good progress. Need a chest key. We're gonna refill, uh, fill an empty bottle. Fortunately, it only uses um, amber oil when you're actually in amber. I, I, you know, honestly, one of the reasons I don't sneak more often is because it just takes forever. Like, I know that's intentional and that's fine. Um, not really even criticizing the mechanic but I am just kind of a little bit impatient. I am, I am somewhat a little bit impatient. Ouch. Found the strange copper key. Okay, let's go and um, unlock that chest. Pretty sure the strange copper key is gonna be for this chest over here. Yep. And I found the large copper key. Well, that's nice. I assume that is important. I have honestly no idea what this um, dungeon is in the context of the game. Like what, what, uh, what is this place rumored to contain? It's just an interesting place you can go. Is that the deal? This is working out well. Um, I'm gonna get lit on fire no matter what, I think. Yep. Jeweled oak key, huh? Damn, that thing is fast. Can you can you slow down? Good lord. 
This is why you gotta kill those uh, skeleton mages when you have the chance, is because they summon stuff like this, and it's just a real problem, like constantly. Okay, this is what the oak key opened up, I think. Advanced cannon. Okay, that might be for our ship. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a stone over there. If you throw those far enough, um, then you will always be able to avoid those stones and you will also just like kill everything on the field. I really do love the bloodstone as a mechanic. It, it is a real risk reward thing, but like if you actually apply any thought to it, then um, you can you can e exploit it pretty well. Now, how the heck do you get over there? Do you think? Seems to me there's more dungeon here that is like completely inaccessible. Let's have a quick look. Uh, I guess there's some dungeon I haven't explored over here. Yeah. We got a guardian. We know how to take care of you. Done. I like how you can like even like almost miles away see it's it's still saying resist bleeding, resist bleeding, resist bleeding, resist bleeding. It's like it's echoing almost. Okay, bud, you are like the last thing alive. No, there's still more. Jesus. Okay. Um, I'm leaving. Oh god, I have to go through there. Right and then left and then right and then down. Uh, I really wish that you guys would just cut it out, like stop existing. And where are you guys coming from? Well, at least I get a bit of money for my trouble. Right, and then left, and then... Oh, God, you... They, they just, like... They just... Don't stop. Are they, like, resurrecting each other? It seems like they're bringing themselves back to life. Um right and then down i really just don't want to be here anymore so i am leaving okay cool i was uh, about to say is there is there <laughs> is there a ship going i did so we have a, a scope can, can we equip um our new cannon Ranged melee all orb of oh we should uh Rosetta Stone these new objects glass orb orb of decay cool those are working towards um more god missions uh orb of sloth nice where what about our ship what about our advanced cannon? I wonder if it just like automatically gets equipped. Cross of force. When did I get that? I have 23 ancient scraps of ancient metal so I could. Let me mail. Oh, those are those are already reconstructed. Just go ahead and repair those now so I know I have them on standby. Um, I don't know what happened to our advanced cannon. I'm wondering if I've already, like, looked at it four or five times and just, like, not perceived it. So, that's fine. We accomplished that, you know, we, we got through that dungeon. That's the important thing. Um, there's undoubtedly going to be places we don't want to go. Um, because I, I do know there's um, some, uh fairly nasty creatures 
lurking. But I do want to go up this river, so we're going to go southeast. Tracking something? Tacking. Yeah, there's still creatures we don't really want to... Um, oh, friendly fire. I don't want to turn friendly fire on. Oh, we can't go past this bridge? I figured we could. So how do we get through there, then? Looks like we can't go through any of those. How in the world do we get into this, like... Do we have to go all the way around? I wonder. All the way around that way. We could try that. Uh, we can't get in through the up because these are going to have bridges all around there. So I guess we got to go all the way around the coast. Good God. Well, we can check out some stuff that we might see along the way. Um, are you a friend? Uh, grapples reduce your sailing speed. In addition, enemy ships next to yours may board you when you have been grappled. Striking the enemy with cannon fire will break the chain. I see. We, we can only shoot in, a, in one direction. There we go. Ow! Cannon's still reloading. We're going to do a little bit of a serpentine action. And we're out of there. We have another cannon. Uh, okay, sails. Oh, God. And every time we get hit, we that's doing like really tangible damage to our ship. Oh, no. Uh, I don't think we can go through there. That means we have to go back, double back around. It might actually be better to just let them board. Because we are a much more effective... Oh, look at that. We hit everyone. We're a much more effective, like, melee fighter than we are a ship combat. Or salesman, I guess. Salesman? Sa <laughs> Sailor! Good lord. Uh, leave this area. Oh, okay, we're just gonna we're gonna board them. This is how we're gonna do things from now on This will ensure that we don't like lose our ship right away. Also, uh, we are actually almost dead ourselves So we are gonna have to take a potion of healing We're on fire We got a towel Why in the world? I guess that lets us not be wet I kind of wish we got more for our efforts for, like, destroying everyone on the ship. I guess we're out of amber oil. Pretty miserable. Please, leave me alone. I have to just sail around the entire coast. Please, Leave me. Oh, that's right. We do travel faster when the wind is on our side. I, I, they told me that and I didn't really understand that. Okay, we're making pretty good, um, time here. Okay, we're gonna follow the mountains around. This might be our inn right here. Too high to disembark. We have to find some, like, we have to find a beach. There's something we haven't seen before. The Inflamed Glade. Starving. Oh, God. Gotta worry about a lot of things in this game. We'll eat some moldy bread just to tide us over. So how, how do I get in there? Oh, there we go. This is okay. All right, we'll try... We'll, we'll come here to the Inflamed Glade. Trap spotted. Trap spotted. Okay, this guy sucks immediately. Oh. 
Resist bleeding. Everyone resists bleeding. Everyone resists bleeding. Let's gash them. And they also have no blood. Trap spotted. Trying my best here to not take like heavy damage. We'll take a root so we can throw down a bloodstone here. Um, hit them. They, this, this, oh, they set me on fire instantly and they almost completely kill my poise right away. And they also do like a ridiculous amount of damage. So this place sucks. Not a fan of this, this, uh, location. Area clear. Okay, that's nice. I suspect, yeah, we're not done here. This is gonna be like one of those puzzles where we have to figure out how to get on in there without stepping on a trap. Locust device fragment, there we go. So we've got two of five of those. So that's, that's a big deal. Oh, yeah, this is forest. Um, and this is why I really shouldn't get go for kindling anymore. Like, it's seriously not worth it anymore. Herbs are another matter. Herbs can potentially get us some potions. Uh, we do there's a there's a lot of things have opened up to us by the way we can um, Try and find that tooth But I good lord, there's like so many quests in here. Is it the archon? Streets of God. No, that's not it um, Or lakes Cave on the road between moon upon thoughts. No Ruin clue there's a, in order to defeat a, a creature in a forest, we need a, a specific tooth weapon. And good, who knows where it, it lies. Paleheart lies between, within the repository. Repository can only be reached by using stone circles. Um, Tower of Veils. Oh yeah. We have to find the thief hiding on an island in the Calderan Sea. Yalaba can only be killed with a special cannon. Oh, that's probably what the uh, advanced cannon is for. Cave to the southwest, only accessible by sea. We've already done that. Kind of wish it would just like cross something out when uh, it's defeated. Slethin, that's the one. A uh, weapon made from Slethin's own body may, be, may slay the beast. Tooth was fashioned into a weapon which is believed to be somewhere on the coast. There's a cave to the southwest where the tooth may lie. And when we say the southwest, we mean the southwest of Winter Shoal, I'm pretty sure. I think they meant the southwest of Winter Shoal. Well, there's a, a lot here to explore, so it may actually be here. We don't want to go into the amber if we can help it. Ugh. Bugs are like a particular problem for me. Something is here. Ah, it's another summon. Speak the Sibaron Bright Death. Do I have that? Uh. Nos is death. I don't have bright. Palace is darkness. Toy, darkness, banish, beauty. Could be beauty. Um, we could try beauty. Let's try, um, Barry Noss. So that's Barry Noss. And uh, nope. Let's try it as one word. Barry Noss. Yeah, okay. So we need the Sibarun word for bright. 
kind of wish I could. Can I mark that on my map, actually? Uh, add icon. One thing I do wish I could do is add, have a bit more in-depth, like, interaction with my journal. Like, I wish I could make notes. It, it seems like that is a common request of mine. Need a great key. So this is going to be a temple of a um, special weapon. What weapon? Tower, temple of the dagger. Okay. Well, we're we're making progress. Oh, we don't we don't want to have to fight that. Whatever that is. I I know I've fought those and they're actually not as bad as I make them out to be, but I still don't really want to fight them. The fact that combat is not super rewarding in this game um, definitely lends to a specific play style of like avoiding combat if at all possible. So that worked out well. We got a Rosetta Stone. We should also, um, I really ought to first of all do some gashes and also I need some food. Wow, I'm getting a lot of blood from that one badger. I'm sorry, badger. That that really sucks. That is really unfortunate. We're going to eat that right away, by the way. I don't know what the deal is with food. I, I feel like there's something I'm not understanding fundamentally. Like, the fact that you get more sustenance from moly food, is that... Do you think that's, like, intended? Or is that something I'm not understanding? Eat that, eat that meat. We could definitely use some more food. Ugh. Okay, whoop. Trying to wait for the amber to pass. That is a staircase leading down, huh? So we've got a dungeon. I don't know what dungeon this is. Um, refill lamp. I guess if I go into stealth mode, um, it turns off my lamp. It specifically says that in the help. So you can conserve your lamp oil by sneaking. So this seems like a rather easy dungeon for this late. Wow, that guy really tried. Really don't want to waste my amber oil. Just wandering around. I do kind of wish I could I could turn off my amber lamp without sneaking. I know that sounds maybe really stupid. <laughs> What do you mean I got hit? There's no way. Yo, there's no way I got hit by my uh, bloodstone there. The angle was like completely wrong. Oh God, I'm gonna have to drink a potion now. Um, let's do a conversion. I'm on fire. Yo, am I gonna die? Well, I'm certainly going to die if that guy dodges my attack and then hits me four times. Oh, God. A uh, large potion of healing. Excuse me, can, can you guys stop? Good Lord. Yo, this is starting to really bother me. Everything is just dodging all of my attacks. I need a better weapon. 
I'm getting really sick and tired of this one. How much, uh, how many things have we killed that, while blind, by the way? Um, five. We gotta kill five more enemies while blind. You guys can just like go ahead and die to my bloodstone. I don't mind. Fill an empty bottle. I know that the the club is like intentionally slow. Like you have a better chance of missing. It still doesn't feel good. I'm still allowed to to not like that. <laughs> Okay, we've got an amber-filled room. Parodius amulet. It's not really what I wanted, but you know, I'll take it. It's probably the, the big item for this one. Most famously used by the one of the Keldarian twins, rumored to have never been used in battle, though this is almost certainly a lie. Oh, that offers us 24% physical defense. That thing is amazing. That is like an actually amazing amulet. It's a, maybe the first amulet I've gotten where I'm like, I can perceive an actual value. Maybe I'm just like super shallow and uh, don't understand the value of a luck amulet or an intellect amulet because I'm I'm going mostly melee but I don't think that this is the kind of game where you min max like a build I think you have to build up your character in all uh, facets that's my hot take I don't think that you can just like you know make a melee build eventually I am gonna have to build up my intellect one of the reasons I'm taking spells um, from, you know, a bunch of different gods. What do we got? 271 guinea, okay. This is gonna be the end of the episode, by the way. I, yeah, you're right, you, you are correct to run away from me. I am very uh, dangerous. Anything cool in here? Scraps of ancient metal? I'll always take those. Some more rocks. I don't know what I need with rocks. Had a little room there. There's a little tiny room. There's still more to this dungeon, although I'm not sure if it's really worth exploring. So I, I still have to find, um... Slethen's Tooth. Slethen's Tooth is out there somewhere. Uh, there's still a bit more of dungeon here. Yeah, I'm glad I came here, actually. There's a... And I now have enough to repair another... Uh, robot, whatever they're called. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode. We're making some slow progress. If you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.